from internet, I am back after a very long time, mainly because my Turbo Beach headset snapped. Um, that happens with a lot of people, apparently. It snaps, and yeah, completely snapped. Wire, headset, you name it. I, I don't even have a clue. But literally, I've known five other people for Turtle Beach snap. So I got a bit paid off with Turtle Beach and moved to Triton. Or Triton, however you say it. But, um,. It's definitely a lot better. This is a really good headset. Um, so, well, let's go on the game news. There's not much, because of course we're not around the year where we've got things getting released yet. But, first of all, it's the Battlefield news. Now, um, of course, Second Assault, I think, has just come out, which is the second map pack. And um, Naval Strike, um, which is the third map pack, is literally just naval maps around the South China Seas. And uh, there's subs, uh, there's all sorts. I mean, it literally is just naval warfare. And then the other two, I don't know much about. But that wasn't the main news I was telling you about Battlefield today. Of course, DICE has got the rights of building um, Star Wars Battlefront, which, of course, was one of the, probably one of the best Star Wars games going. And, um, of course, DICE make an absolute beautiful job of Battlefield. The course they wanted to take the time of Star Wars because they don't want to upset both Dice fans and Star Wars fans, which of course is quite quite a lot. But basically, um, what so what they're doing is because of course Star Wars Battlefront's coming out in twenty tw yeah twenty fifteen, so next year uh, for next gen the PC, um, they're not doing a Battlefield. So um, apparently rumours this isn't. 100% true, but rumours are going around, they're handing it over to Dead Space maker, makers um, or producers, I can't remember what they're called off the top of my head, but, and then, the other rumour is it's not going to be military, it's going to be police, and criminals, and gangs, and I was like, oh, well, Battlefield's Battlefield, you don't have, police don't like have Battlefields, do they? I mean, revolutioning, I mean, you're not, what's the point of a skyscraper collapsing, if you know what I mean, if you're a blooming cop, because you're dumb. But I know, and then the New York Times interviewed, I think, one of the producers and said, and he said that Battlefield 5 or whatever it'll be is going to be a lot more destructive than Battlefield 4. And um, Battlefield 4's destruction is really good. But if I think this should improve anywhere, it should be the fact that, especially on campaigns, there's certain bits you can't destroy because you're going to go away from the actual campaign mission. I think what they should do is let you destroy it, and if you go past it, just like the multiplayer thing, you get a countdown and if you don't if you're not out there in time you're dead and stuff i think they should do that really rather than you being limited to stuff because of course even in multiplayer there's certain walls you can't destroy which can sometimes be annoying if you want to play a bit tactical but that's the news but for that anyway um and then other things saying yes there is going to be a bad company three they don't know when but apparently there is next news apparently there's a sonic game coming to next gen um I haven't played much Sonic. I do prefer it to Mario, but I haven't played much of it. Um, children out there, I found this. Um, base uh, rumors are going around that Dis since Disney bought Star Wars and Marvel, the sequel to this Disney Infinity, which is like Skylanders basically, but Disney, is apparently going to have Marvel figures and Star Wars figures, which means you'll be playing with Anakin Skywalker alongside a blooming Buzz Lightyear, and Iron Man with Lightning McQueen, really? Oh, they they really shouldn't mingle them. I know that I know they'll probably get sales, but even even all those older older audiences, it's just a bit. Oh, it's just because you own it, just don't. <laughs> I think this is my final news. Yes, um, of course the crew. I personally think this will be one of the best driving games coming out this year. Massive open world, of course. A uh, downscale version of America. We're an hour and a half, coast to coast. Then and there's events in every city, like s from Salt Lake to New York, Miami to LA. Um, and um, customization is how it should be, because um, as usual, Neef Speed's customization just went. I mean, Carbon was real. I mean, for all you older gamers, Carbon was a really good one for um, Monte for. Uh, customization I mean you could choose how wide you wanted your spoil and even how high you wanted it to be and stuff like that rather than just selecting a type but apparently this you can literally strip down fully 
completely change body work, turn a Lambo to off-road, and I think customization is how it should be in this game. And especially with the free roam, they'd be pretty darn good with the free roam. Just be interested to see what the campaign's like, because a lot of driving games don't have brilliant campaigns, <laughs> since you can't really think about it. But I've got more news, because we were looking at question and answers um, of the crew, and um, apparently there's is going to be interior not like Gran Turismo 5 when like if you got standard cars it would just black inside and no interior there'll be interior and it'll even vary if you change it to like an off-road or a raid class if you don't know what they are there's different classes for different jobs so you've got street bog standard raid which is for getting money from bank trucks and smashing them off-road and circuit and of course there'll be all different performances but there's also going to be like working trains on the train tracks and working planes flying up and stuff which will be awesome because a lot like on some games it's train tracks it's like where are the trains I mean you want to have that excitement and apparently the cop behaviour is going to be good they're not going to be like Neve Speed Most Wanted well the remake where they're literally patrolling every street about five cars near each other no apparently they're going to be a lot more realistic and um you have to. I think you do have to generally do something pretty bad, like you would in real life, to get police on you. But that, as far as I know, is all the information for the crew. But what I really hope to see in the crew, to make it just that cherry on top, would be to have dynamic weather and dynamic simulation damage. Now, a friend told me they didn't like simulation damage, and I was like, "Well, how could you not? It's. I know you don't like the car getting wrecked, but then it's that thrill in it when you smash your car up and bits go flying everywhere." And like with definitely with Battlefield, when you start seeing the on Parcel Storm when the weather changes, that you get a buzz from that. Honestly, it's it's good when they make a game that's really re really realistic. Um, sometimes, I mean, not all games should be realistic. <laughs> right. Well, um, of course it's in news. Um, any of you people I know, a couple of my subscribers have subscribed to Newbish Rhubarb, and um, well. I'll be doing a couple of videos on that channel now. Um, yeah, they have got a YouTube partnership, um, and um, well, um, yeah, they're bigger than me. <laughs> but yeah, um, my friend Charlie left it, and my friend uh, Andrew wanted to carry it on, so I thought I'd help him out do a couple of Minecraft stuff and Minecraft Mickey takes of stuff. So um, you know what I mean? Help him out a bit, get him, boost him up in subscribers and stuff like that. I know we've done. Of course, you can see there, I've got my first two entry introduction videos, and um, Charlie's Farewell. Um, I think there'll be all sorts of things, anything from Star Wars style things to adventure things, I think. But, yeah, definitely, though, when I get a PS4, if, or if I do, I'm definitely going to start recording a lot more, because, of course, I'll be able to then use Twitch and put it onto Fraps and stuff. Which would be really good, so because I play console more than computer, and I don't have a PVR, so I'll get some recording in uh, at that time. But yeah, sorry I'm being away, well, being around for a while. My broke, um, got a new computer, and changed a couple of things around. Um, but yeah, I'm saving it for PS4, be able to because anyone that because he's like me doesn't use computer to record or doesn't. Can't be bothered wasting a hundred and thirty quid on a PVR or something like that, or well, a decent one. You can just simply share it to Twitch on PS4, and then edit it in Fraps, then upload it to YouTube. Or if you want to upload it straight away when YouTube comes in a PS4 update, uh, I'm assuming you'll be able to upload it straight away to that. But time's nearly up, so. Thanks for watch sticking with me. Um, I know there's only 28 subscribers, but cheers for sticking with me, and I'll bring more gaming news whenever I find some more. So see you around.